Keith, when, when you think about the downside case for the S&P over the next six months, do you see less downside right now than you did back in Q4 2015 when you called for a recession? At this point, do you see greater than two-thirds probability that the market could retest the February 16 lows? Yeah, there's no change. I mean, we've been very consistent. I haven't changed one thing that I've said. Uh, again, unless it's different this time, 100% of the time, when corporate profits in America go negative on a year-over-year -year basis, 100% of the time, the S&P 500 has a drawdown and or crash, however you want to characterize it, of 20% or more. At the February low, the drawdown was between 14 and 15%. So I think we rightly positioned you for that. I think I reiterated it properly in April when a lot of people were telling me I was missing the next move. Um, and here I am again, just reminding you again and again and again that the last components of the cycle that's slow are called the late cycle components, which include employment and consumption and the sectors embedded therein. So again, those will be the sectors that drive you lower, financials included uh, in that same bucket. And again, they'll continue to surprise you, like Target apparently surprised their investors this week, or Costco will continue to surprise their investors. They're gonna keep surprising that corporate executives don't do macro. Um, so what the macro is going to do to corporate executives who didn't see this coming, the macro is going to do them.